Elal. It's not just an airline, it's Israel. El Al. It's not just an airline, it's Israel's front for its intelligence agencies. And the spy cables confirm it after years of allegations. In 2009, South African TV show Carte Blanche broadcast the claims of a former airline guard at Johannesburg Airport. He said he was working for Shin Bet, Israel's internal spy agency. We pull the wool over everyone's eyes. We do exactly what we want. The local authorities do not know what we are doing. Months later, South Africa deported an Israeli airline official. Little more detail was released. But a secret intelligence document confirms Garb's story. They did carry firearms and had, according to them, diplomatic protection. They even had all access unrestricted at the airport. This gave them the advantage to gather information with regards to arrivals and departures to and from South Africa. Another classified report says El Al has the privilege of not being searched at the restricted areas. El Al officials are also allowed to travel freely with their weapons amongst the El Al passengers. One of the members of El Al has also been identified as a courier for the Mossad. The broadcast triggered a meeting at South Africa's foreign ministry. Security representatives withdrew permission for the Israelis to carry weapons. Then, despite arguments, they also took away the El Al workers' diplomatic immunity. A separate document relates counterintelligence information the South Africans have gathered. It says the El Al manager at Johannesburg International Airport is very involved in the gathering of intelligence and handled the issue of a pipe bomb at an Israeli company in 2001. El Al refused numerous attempts by Al Jazeera to seek comment. The carte blanche broadcast also got other intelligence agencies worried. Canadian spies contacted South Africa and asked for details on how Shin Bet was using El Al, not just as an airline, but also as a front. Clayton Swisher, Al Jazeera.